four months of hard work, countless hours coding, and a groundbreaking AI project that led videos talk to their deceased wife, and yet I decided to abandon it. Here's why. Before launching it, I was thinking about uh, looking at all this AI stuff like ChatGPT, all this stuff, and I was working with it. And I like that ChatGPT can replicate people likeness. So I replicate it with uh, characters of movie characters and this type of stuff. So I really like this. So I think about how can I use it to build something that is helpful to people. So I look at uh, uh, a thing like AI girlfriend, this type of stuff. Then I think that this is not useful. So I think how I can make it more useful. And I think about what if I make uh, an app that let people talk to their uh, likeness of their deceased wife. Like people can put uh, messages of their chatting with their wife in WhatsApp messages or any other messaging app which they use. And they can put that message inside that app and talk to their likeness of deceased wife. And it was not just that when I was building it. Let we will talk it later what happened. But so I was I think that I can make it more better. Like I can add something like the uh, uh multiverse type if you know multiverse. I think most of you know. So multiverse type this means like I could add a story type of layout in it. Like uh, in one story your wife is a waitress who has a secret crush on you. But she will talk and behave like uh, your real wife, like this stuff. And one in one, she is a school teacher. And you can add on your own stories and she will talk like her own likeness, okay, like a multiverse. So this was the initial idea and I was thinking that I was helping people. So I was excited. So I started learning to code. So I first learned code, uh, I think, seven years ago, maybe. By that time, uh, uh, there was uh, almost all app, I think most of the app was already built because uh, internet was around for very long time. So I that time quit because I don't want to build same app like everybody. So when I see it, but I was excited about coding. So when I see this, that AI wide opens the gap so it, you can build apps that can provide value to the people. So I decided this is the right time to build it. And I was figuring out my life, what I want to do for last eight years. So I think this would be the best thing I could do. So I started learning to code. I have in mind resources then, which I looked years ago that this I will learn to build web apps and this. So I have knowledge of Python basics. So I just started learning to code. So I directly jumped to web development, uh, flash course, which I taken online on uh, Udemy and this type of stuff, Udemy. So I started learning that and learn before. But one thing also, how directly learning before that, I uh, I tried some uh, course on uh, like ChatGPT and this type of stuff. Then I jumped on web development. So I learned slash web development. So I build my app like that. It was a very excitement journey. I learned a lot. I really enjoyed that journey. I was waking up every day and working on it, learning stuff, trying stuff, and building it. It was challenging, that it was like in that it, but it was very exciting. So my app was almost complete. It was like three percent, four percent, like this was left. So and deployment, including that. So I was working really hard before launching this past few days. So I think I could, I should take two days off and then launch it. So I took the break and when I took the break, I realized that a voice inside me was that I was telling myself that this is a good, I am helping people because I wanted to build something because I like building stuff. So I was finding a reason that how I could build this stuff, the reason, motivation, the purpose. But when I listened to that voice carefully, so that voice tell me that I should not build this app because it was uh, playing on people's emotions. It was not helping people according to me. It was just doing what? It was prolonging the grief. It is not any person real, but this is just illusion, a likeness of her, which people will 
keep talking and trap dancers it was like uh, you see ai girlfriend app people try to make it more addicting that people will not leave the app so if i make it a subscription service this was in my mind then if i want to tell you but uh, i was need i need money uh, really i am 20 turning 24 so i need money so i thinking that uh, i would add a subscription service that it could give me mending so earning so i that keep working on this project okay and also providing value but i think that uh, in order to do that i have to make it more addicting that so that people subscribe to it and stay on the platform so what i am trying to do that i am trying to do that facebook on steroid by playing on emotion so that's what i am trying to do so i realized that so i it was like i do i really want to build this app this is best i could do from my passion and this stuff stuff so i think no this is not so the decision was should i abandon it or should i upload it and see what happened so this was time to make a final decision should i complete the left part of this app and deploy it or i abandon it completely so i did what again listen to my heart whatever that voice is inside my body and it didn't don't do it so i stopped the thing is that huh, i tell i was telling my parents that after 4 months i will launch this app this time i am working on so they asked me 10 days happening what happened you did it, you launched your app i said no why i think i was doing wrong stuff so why so they think if you know why you were doing wrong stuff why you then build it so i tell them i don't know that time so this uh, uh, experience taught me that the simple thing is that if you can build something that uh, you can build that people will use millions of people will use but that doesn't mean that you should build it people don't need it or maybe you are needed but that is not valuable to them yeah i know maybe somebody will build this app one day in future you will have it will be more immersive i think like you will have ar glasses and people who have lost their wife could talk to her life in front of them but i don't want to be a person who made this app and also i don't i will always encourage people to not do and engage in that activity and don't use that app so so what moving further so moving further this means that ai is a great field and you can do a lot of great stuff for humanity so i don't want to trap me inside that a box that i will build only that stuff i will build more great stuff so uh when i was starting seven or eight eight years ago almost my journey of learning what i want to do with my life really so i was thinking about software development and coding which uh, software development and ethical hacking which one i should go with uh, by the way i was hacking since uh, i was in school this type of stuff uh, 10 years like that when i was 10 year old i was hacking uh my friends school or classmates facebook account but i didn't do anything i tell them your password and don't look at their messages just for fun that i could hack them or not it was a fun experience but i didn't know that i can make a career out of it people tell me many people that hack my friend hack me i i will give you a party i will give you this but i don't hack i i will make excuse that oh we need this we need that because i know that was wrong i should not hang they will use their stuff for wrong stuff so uh, when i was in 11th uh, when i was uh, a little bit 8 years ago i decided that uh, i should try hitical hacking i really liked it really loved it and i seen that it has a career but i wanted to build some stuff but i told you that uh, that time i see that many of the app was already built so now i can see that ai has opened wide then the gap new technology is coming each and every day this means that 
new problems and new frauds frauds are coming each day so what i can do is i can build ai apps and that could uh, that could help to detect those frauds okay so that would be really great this would provides and people save people a lot of money and provide a lot of value i think this is the best i could do i could be in this field because one i love ethical hacking second i love building stuff so i am building stuff and doing ethical hacking and provide and also i wanted to do good stuff and have a purpose so this is the best purpose which i can do for my entire life i was thinking about it for a really long time this from that and most i think uh, when i was building that app which i told you four months ago it's almost by uh, past uh, one month today the today when i stopped working on that so it took me almost one month to thinking what i want to do with my life and really i it took me almost eight years to think about what i want to do and i have tried many stuff like photo editing video editing coding writing stories animating if you are my channel some of that stuff is there also animating building games and that of stuff and i have done youtube videos for many years this is not my first channel i have um, 15 channels i have stopped working on them because i didn't know that i want to do that stuff or not so i moved to different different stuff and first i goes like this generalize means trying many stuff on other field and then i go to one field one field with i like this i like this i like this like for example i seen that i like most of tech stuff so i was it got in tech and computer stuff on computer stuff and then i seen that i am liking building stuff so i focused on building stuff like game development coding and then started to be i like ai stuff so ai i tried building apps more apps then i focus now on ethical hacking and know what i want to do so this is my path of moving forward ethical hacking and providing building a uh, building applications that detect frauds so this is what i want to do further yeah let me let's see what it will lead me in 5 years 10 years 20 years whatever timeline it is or and my entire life yeah so that's it for this video share your thoughts if you want to share it. thanks for watching the video and listening to my this journey really really thank you for you really really thanks for this so i will see you in my next video